Hey there everybody, I'm going to show you how to do multi-view drawings for your rocket parts. So, first thing under the About tab on our Google Classroom, there is a shared folder that I put in there that um, now has a couple things. We'll add like pictures and stuff that you guys can use, but your drawing sheet is right here. And so you're going to want to download that. You might also have it in your like um, email or something. So I'm going to hit skip all. And so now we're going to do the parts. Sometimes your part automatically pops up like that. But we want to make sure that it's in your folder. And I'm going to do the fuselage first. The scale kind of depends on you. You want to make sure that it fits. But you also don't want it to be like super huge like that. So it fits on my paper just like that. For the fuselage, I'm going to do a front view and a top view, and I'm going to go like top right. Um, I don't really need a side view, so I'm going to right click OK. I don't need a side view because it's the exact same thing as my front view. So I'm going to just click on that and delete it. Hit delete on my keyboard. Um, I'm going to double click here. I'm going to click this part that says shaded, give it some color. All right. So now I just need to annotate some dimensions. So my first dimension is going to be my total height. Mine happens to be 8 inches. I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to say, all right, the outside is 0.5 inches. I'm also going to click on the inside there and click OK. Um, I'm going to zoom in and click on that tiny part in the outside edge. Click OK. That's really all I need. Um, I did put that groove on there. If you remember from class last week, put the groove on there so we could slide the wing in there and made it on there a little easier. But in real life, that's not going to be there. That was just kind of a cheat for our design for Inventor. So don't worry about dimensioning it. All right. I'm going to hit text. And I'm going to give it a title. So this is our fuselage. Click OK. It automatically puts my name on it. My class period. Um, the date. It automatically throws on the date of when we started this part, so don't worry about that. And then my scale, which I kind of forgot what it was. And if you forget, you can do this. You just double click on there, and you'll see right there on the scale. It says it's half scale. So I'm going to go back to text, scale, and write one half, and OK. And I'm done. Uh, looks great. Let's make sure we save it in our Google folder. Um, there's my rockets. And yeah, we want to change it from this drawing sheet page. We want to call it, you know, fuselage drawing. All right, before we close this out, move on to our next one. Make sure you take a screen grab of it, just like that. I prefer using the snipping tool, and then save it for your portfolio. All right. I probably wouldn't hurt me to do that. 